Carrie Engel from Valley View Farms is here to answer your plant and gardening questions. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Lisa. And who did you bring with us? Uh, this is a Chinese evergreen, or also called Aglaonema, and it's one of those plants that does well with, with not a lot of water mm -hmm. and not a lot of light. So it's perfect for me at home. At work, I'm, I take good care of plants. Once I get home, not so much. Okay. So this has survived me. All right. It needs the <laughs> low maintenance plant. Very nice low maintenance okay. plant. Yes. And and cool color. I would say it, these are new colors for this plant, so it's neat. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get to our questions. I have tried to keep a roof deck garden. What vegetables would grow best up there? Um, if you've got a roof deck with full sun, you can really go with most vegetables. So tomatoes, peppers will do fine. Um, cucumbers, squash, melons, all kinds of things mm -hmm. that you like to have. And um, herbs do great up there too. So you really, as long as you've got the space and the soil, you can go with just about anything. Right. Okay. Um, I, I want to grow vegetables in my backyard this year, but have had issues with rabbits and squirrels in the past. What's the best way <laughs> to ward off the wildlife? I tell you, I have that problem too. <laughs> The best thing is a fence. I mean, when, but, but if that doesn't work, you just can't put it up there. There are different things you can put down, um, granules and things that, that will get rid of animals. So mm -hmm. just try some of those. Um, they really do work well. Things like liquid fence, uh, deer off. I use deer tape around my vegetable mm -hmm. garden, and the deer don't get that close, but the rabbits and groundhogs still manage to make mm -hmm. their way through. Those groundhogs. Those groundhogs, are, they, they get me more than anything, too. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I have fenced those, and I've put lettuce up because mm -hmm. they seem to like my lettuce best. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, when is it safe to put asparagus ferns out for the season? In most cases, once your danger of frost is gone, so I'm going to say Mother's Day ish around mm -hmm. here, you can go a little bit earlier towards the city and go a little bit later as you go north and west of the city. Um, but generally, when you can put your tomato plants and pepper plants outside, that's when most of your house plants can go out too. All right. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you.